things or the top 10 things you should be buying at Aldi this February 2023. And this month has some amazing and unexpected finds you are going to love. In the first spot, let's begin with home organization and this bag saver organizer for seven bucks. And it helps make that mess of plastic or grocery bags much more manageable and presentable. It attaches with a strong double-sided adhesive. It would also work great in a mudroom and holds around 50 bags. I wanted to buy and try this four-tier chrome shelving system before I made any recommendations. It's 50 bucks, a highly competitive price. I found it to be sturdy, wonderful for a kitchen, a laundry room, a pantry, really any type of basement storage would work too. With a deep freeze plaguing different parts of the country right now, this massaging heat pad wrap at 25 bucks caught my eye as a nice way to enjoy some warmer winter relaxation. It has three heat settings, multiple massage modes, and this is actually the same price it retailed for last year, so it beat inflation. I thought these clip-on silicone utensils at $5 were kind of ingenious. They can easily sit or rest on the side of cookware, as not all pots and pans provide that perfect resting spot. And I should mention these are full-size utensils, as it's sometimes hard to gauge against the size of my hand. In the number two spot, style and practicality combined, sort of like me in college. That's a joke, I had no style then and not really now, but this two slice toaster caught my eye for 25 bucks, complete with gold plated buttons, seven browning levels, and an adjustable slot which you could widen to accommodate bagels or waffles. It's available in these pastel colors. Speaking of waffles, if you want the experience of a continental hotel breakfast in your home for roughly the cost of those overpriced hotel breakfast, this rotating Belgian waffle maker at 25 bucks has a nice design. And I've actually found these make for great waffles and less of a mess than those waffle insert plates I've used on my George Foreman. This high powered blender at $40 has a touch screen. $40 for a blender, let alone one with this digital console, is very competitively priced. It doesn't have the velocity of a Vitamix, but it's durable and will likely get most jobs done. Thanks to a new design, this eight quart digital air fryer at $80 also has a digital control on the front, some nice detail on the handle. It comes in a traditional dark color or this nice white modern cream color that I can't quite pinpoint. I love it. If you are a coffee lover, I'll have some incredible finds for you in a moment, but in the number three spot, one of the most intriguing desserts that's come my way in a long time, a 7-Up Lemon Lime Cake for $5.49. It kind of has a bunt cake-like design with a lemon icing that gets the job done for my taste buds. If you enjoy a good pound cake, this is excellent. This eight pack of seven layer bars at $4.95 also caught my eye. It's a graham cracker crust topped with coconut, chocolate, butterscotch, and pecans, or pecans if you prefer I say them like that. I was slightly nervous to try this based on the multiple layers, and while the coconut does prevail as the dominant flavor, it's not as overpowering as its seven layer description suggests. Cinnamon cream cheese coffee cake bites at 439 looked interesting. For my first bite, I found it lacking in flavor and disappointing. But since I'm dedicated to my dessert investigative journalism, I decided to consume a second one and it had wonderful flavor. So maybe I just tried a first bad bite. If you prefer your bites in a red velvet cake flavor option, you can buy that pack here for $4.39. You can buy a pack of chocolate covered pie bites at $5, which include the option of a coconut or banana cream filling. I went for the coconut and as I approached the halfway mark of the 10 bite pack, enjoying five, I was pleased to learn they are only 70 calories per bite. Having overdone it on the pie bites, I didn't have room in my stomach for these strawberry and cream rose cones that strongly resemble bath fizzers. They're $4 if you're interested, although I don't think my description necessarily made that appetizing, but the chocolate mousse and caramel mousse cups on top of a cookie crumble for $3.79 are wonderful. In the number four spot, if you consume a lot of coffee or you lead a well-caffeinated household, this 14 cup programmable coffee maker can be set up to 24 hours in advance. It has presets to easily adjust the strength of your brew. And for these features and a $40 price, I am impressed. If you prefer a French, 
press cup of coffee. This glass French pressed at $13, felt well made, sturdy, would sit nicely on a counter without occupying much space. The colors make for some eye candy and it produces eight cups of coffee that you could serve in this two pack of coffee stoneware mugs for $7. If you prefer espresso, you can buy a four pack of stoneware mugs at that same $7 price with a wide variety of color options. For a cup of joe on the go, this insulated ceramic bottle mug at $10 is good for hot or cold beverages. It has a leak proof design, it's dishwasher safe, and might work for those who prefer the taste from a non stainless steel drinking vessel. Ceramic might be what you're searching for. If you're searching for a whole cooked lobster for $11, you're gonna love point five. I don't think I've ever heard of a whole cooked North Atlantic lobster. That's one pound and $10.99. This lobster is apparently caught and cooked at its peak for freshness. It just needs to be reheated. I checked and its ingredients are lobster, just lobster. Sticking with seafood for a moment, this 15 pound box of Canadian snow crab legs for $20 is down from a typical price of $26. These are wild caught and also fully cooked. If you enjoy crab rangoon, it's now available in the form of a flavored dip for $4. That same price could also score you lobster roll dip, which looks intriguing. A four pound tub of Italian style gravy and sliced beef is $17, ready to assist in making up to eight Italian beef sandwiches. It's new at my local Aldi. I should mention none of this content is sponsored. Aldi is not paying me to make this video. Tender baby back fully cooked sweet and smoky pork ribs, say that five times fast, $8.99 for a half rack, that's a great price. Chicken and cheese enchiladas for $14.79, serve up to eight people, might be a nice way to spice things up for your typical Taco Tuesday night. Deep dish pizzas are $6.60, Upon a closer examination, they appear to be more of a personal pan size. Traditional cheese pizza and crumbled Italian sausage with pepperoni are your options for that. With the big game around the corner, football pizza is now a reality at Aldi for $5.79. It's a nice hearty party favor. And since this is also the month of love, I found a heart pizza for $5.79. Might be nice for a significant other but I feel all forms of love should include self-love, so go love yourself with a pizza. That kind of sounds like a self-help video gone wrong. Anyhow, for point six, if you're watching this before Valentine's Day, you might want to consider the cast iron dessert set for two. At $15, this is something I featured last year. You could make dessert for yourself and a loved one, which could include kids or grandkids, of course. These pop-up Valentine's Day cards are $2.49, brand new. They appear more premium than the cards you might typically see at Aldi. Looks like something you might find at a Hallmark store for a fraction of the cost right here. I found a nice variety of conventional Valentine's Day cards for $149. These are beautifully textured full-size cards that look far more expensive than $1.49. It includes this one that says you are all that and a bag of chips. $2 Valentine's Day gel cling assortments are very popular in our house. My wife has these on some of our windows and even bathroom mirrors for our daughter Mara. A new collection of candles in the shape of macaron desserts at $8.99 are adorable with three per box, also great as a gift any time of the year. And as always, Aldi has a high quality but not overly large candy assortment with prices that range from $3.49 to $10. Noteworthy highlights are these chocolate truffle hearts for $4, imported from Germany, which is the case with many of their products, unless of course they're imported from Belgium, which is the case with these cocoa dusted truffles for $3.49. Made in America, Reese's Pieces and Sour Patch Hearts are $5. I want these. Russell Stover heart-shaped chocolate boxes are $9.98. And in typical Aldi fashion, there's a giant range of Valentine's Day themed gnomes for $9. Enjoy. In the number seven spot, it's one of the least expensive percussion therapy massagers I've seen outside of Black Friday for $40. This has eight different accessory heads and a rechargeable battery. This adjustable workout bench you see right here is also a fantastic price. It's on clearance right now for $60, which is $20 less than Aldi's typical price. These 32 ounce glass bottles with silicone grip at $10 are a dupe of a much pricier 
BKR branded original version that retails for as high as 42 bucks. So $10 at Aldi for something that I've seen in the past and is very popular, a good grab. If you are hydrating for a workout, these men and women's memory foam trainers are $15. They're extremely well priced, particularly for a product equipped with memory foam. To match your shoes, a three pack of men or ladies workout socks are $5. Again, five bucks for three pairs of socks is great. Different color and style options. Athleisure tunic tops are $14. That's kind of a strange word I don't say too often. Athleisure joggers, you want more, there you go. Blue and black color options for $15. Ladies plush full zip jackets at $15 felt almost blanket like. And I felt pretty weird just randomly touching all of this women's clothing. So I bought this for my wife in pink. There is a blue and black color option as well. Point eight isn't quite as personal. I'm kind of opening up today. A pack of five LED puck lights are $15. These have a remote control. They are color changing and they come with a mounting adhesive. I tried them, they are bright. They work great in any closet or a space that might need illumination, but doesn't have a hardwired light fixture. If you're interested in a mini DIY modernization project for your home, you could upgrade your plug outlets to these dual USB wall outlet interfaces for $12. You won't have to have as many chargers on hand. And into that outlet, you could plug in one of the least expensive portable cool mist humidifiers I've ever seen at 749. This works with a water bottle, so it's great for travel. If you're going to a hotel, these are particularly hygienic as you can just recycle the water bottle once you're done using it. It would be great with the cold winter air. Also great for inclement weather or really any time of the year, indoors or out. Boot and shoe trays are $4.29. You could grab a couple at this price to protect your floors or an entryway and to protect and better organize your drawers lined drawer organizers in the form of a utensil tray or as an organizer for silverware are $10 each. With no segue whatsoever, sink plug strainers are $4 and a two pack of hair catching stainless steel drain wigs, which could help prevent clogs without having to resort to chemicals are $4 as well. Before I show you some colorful products to help prevent household chaos for my next point, I love these memory foam chair pads at $8, a nice thick practical pad to make any chair more comfortable. If you need to quickly make a spare wooden chair feel more comfortable for a guest or to convert a standard chair into an office chair, this felt plush and of high quality. A dupe of the usually $25 and very popular Squatty Potty is available at Aldi called Squatting Tool, that's catchy, $14.99. And while we're on the topic of your bathroom, a four drawer storage organizer at $40 could work beautifully for hand towels, soaps, or candles. It would also look lovely in a bedroom. My wife Daria had her eye on this tripod lamp. It's $45. We don't really need it, so I suggested we don't buy it, but it has a nice modern design. For the next point on my list, before we tackle taming clutter and chaos, oil and vinegar bottles complete with a silicone base, which serves as an easy pour grip, $10, and there are a trio of color options. Getting organized on a dime is possible with this over the door wire kitchen organizer, $7. It could organize plastic wrap, aluminum foil. It could even work in a family room if you have a TV stand or a console table. Attach it and use it as a magazine holder. It's available in black or silver. Speaking of storage and ideal for apartments or condos or really anywhere, if you are tight on kitchen cabinet space, this two pack of helper shelves is $7. There's also a corner version that could come in handy. If you have endured pot and pan chaos as we have in the lower parts of your kitchen cabinets, you've got lids, you've got pots, they're all over the place. This organizer would help within your existing cabinetry and keep everything tidy. A more premium looking coffee and sugar glass canister set with bamboo lids will set you back $10. This might make a nice gift. You could fill it with some premium coffee, sugar. I guess that's kind of random, but anyhow, for a charcuterie or a butter board, you could have some beautifully presented food items with these color pop bamboo trays. $13 available in round or oval shapes. 
and with a pop of color on the ring. From color pops to color dipped, that's the case for these bamboo boards at $7. These look very high end and they have those helpful divots for slicing and dicing. For any of those extended periods while we are slicing, dicing, or doing dishes, we begin the bonus section with a 24 by 36 inch chef mat for $15. Sticking with mats for a moment, and thank you for sticking with me, hashtag dad pun, the square pebble shower mat you see right here for $6 helps prevent slips and falls, it could cushion your feet, and it's machine washable. If you don't mind searching through a slightly confusing mess of foliage, where it's hard to tell where one plant starts and another one stops. 10 inch assorted plants and foliage for $15 is filled with products that appear to be well made. Assuming you don't mind an adventure through an Aldi jungle to figure out what's what. What is there to say that hasn't already been said other than I love you, thank you, bye bye.